David, uh, we are talking in a very busy period. Uh, first of all, how are you doing? Yeah, very well, especially after the, the, the last performances we had and especially after the national team that uh, it's not easy to come back every time because uh, players are in so many countries, uh, a lot of travel. So then it's nice to that we get the win home and uh, also something special yesterday for me that uh, we, we win our first Champions League game. So yeah, I'm feeling uh, very good. You already mentioned uh, the games uh, with the Slovakian national team. Uh, you recently scored after just nine seconds against uh, Liechtenstein. How did you experience that international period? Yeah, it was it was really nice. Also, we, we played against Portugal. We played a really good match. In the end, we lost 1-0, uh, but I think we played a good match against strong opponents. So that uh, that gave us a, a really good boost for the upcoming games. And uh, yeah, then we then we won, and uh, yeah, I could score the first goal of my uh, of the season. So yeah, that was uh, I was really happy with that. It's hard to imagine that a goal like that isn't rehearsed in training. How does that work? Yeah, we had uh, we have some uh, like schedule like here that uh, what we want to do for uh, for the kickoff. But uh, then the ball was supposed to go to me, but then it went to the striker. So I made that run behind and. Uh, yeah, sometimes you need to be really lucky, but yeah, I, I made a good first touch, then I tried to go with the goalkeeper and uh, it ended up uh, with a goal. So, yeah, especially also in, in big games you hear in final, you know, of course with the national team, it's always with the set pieces and these kind of things that's, uh, that can help you uh, really, really. Yeah, and then you came back to uh, Rotterdam and Feyenoord is on a good run, uh, good results. How's the atmosphere in the team? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, getting together the boys, you know. In the in the end, uh, some new guys came after the two games we played. So something like the last year when I remember, I was one of these guys. So in the in the study was not was not that easy, but uh, slowly, slowly we 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 became better and better. And uh, and I'm feeling that uh, now it's uh, not the same because it's uh, it's a different team now, but. Uh, yeah, we we won uh, now uh, the matches, and uh, that's the most important. And uh, yeah, we we try to to even improve because uh, we still see, and uh, especially our coach, he always see that uh, what we can do better. So that's that's our uh, our aim for upcoming games. Yeah, do you see any elements from the invisibility of last season coming back? Yeah, like I said, it's it's a different team. But yeah, when you look at the last season, like that was there was a draw against Herenveen. There there was a, before the first national team we lost against PSV. Then after the national team, we I think we drove with Nijmegen. So uh, also the last season, how it ended up. Now everybody is expecting like how it ended up, but nobody is looking how it started. So of course it was not easy for us in the in the start. Of course now we we lost some great players. A lot of great players they came, but uh, it needs a little bit of time that uh, we we come together. So, yeah, like uh, I would love to see that uh, then comparison, and also in the end that uh, if it goes like that, it would be the, the the best way. We are now shortly after the match against Celtic. How did you experience playing at Champions League level? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's like uh, when the dreams come true for me because like yeah i was watching i remember from a young age and uh, you know the matches was was late in the night so my parents next day you need to go to school so my parents were always like yeah you, need, you can watch the first half or something then you need to go sleep so and yeah tuesday wednesday we always watch and yesterday tuesday i was i was playing it so yeah it was uh, i think really something special for me and uh, for my family You've also played in the uh, Europa League before. Does this give you a different feeling? Yeah, like uh, when you look at it in, in the game, then I, I was not that, uh, uh, like uh, I would say, that's it's something different. It's a, it's still a football game, but of course, you before the game and when you see the banners, the anthem, the the ball boys, you know, you see, you see that only in the TV. And now we were we were part of that game and. Of course, yeah, yeah, you could see yesterday the fans, they were, yeah, there was something, uh, I need to say crazy, because the support we, we, we get, it's, it's something uh, what uh, give us the strength for the, for the games and uh, yeah, something really special and of course I will never forget it. 
and about uh, the, your performances uh, during the game. I saw some uh, fantastic cross passes where you could show your abilities. Uh, was that one of the specific uh, tasks given to you by the coach? Uh, I wouldn't say like a specific, but of course we have some patterns that uh, we can use. And uh, of course, when I have the, the space to, to dribble in and then I, and I see that, that their defense is shifting, then we have a wide player. And uh, of course, we, we knew that we can, we can use it. And uh, yeah, I was happy that I could, uh, I could make them. And uh, uh, so, yeah, that's, that's one of uh, the... I would say like uh, one part of the things we can use in uh, in uh, in uh, attacking. Yeah, and Kelvin Stank scored the first goal from a free kick, uh, but he came to you and Igor beforehand to discuss who should take the free kick. Was it immediately clear to you who that he should take it? Yeah, like in the in the start, I, I also went there with Igor. We were looking at the, but then I uh, I when I look at it, I said like, uh, yeah, I think it's too far for me for how I'm shooting so then I said like yeah Calvin you can you can take it or do you guys decide I, I'm going to the wall to to make that uh, the, the goalkeeper his vision is not that good and uh, then I said to Calvin yeah you can choose if you want to cross it to towards our strikers or or you can shoot and uh, in the end it was perfect because I think it was in the extra time of the first half so really special when you score then you go to the second half with the with the lead. And the rest of the first half wasn't uh, really that good, uh, but the defense was solid. Can you take us through what the agreements are between you and Gernot in such a moment? Yeah, especially like, uh, of course, we have a lot of meetings before the game. So then we see uh, what the coaches want from us. Of course, we are we are watching also the opponents, were, what their strengths are, and of, of course, what the, the strikers they don't like. So then we try to do it and uh, yeah, we've, yeah, I, I said it many times with Gernard, uh, to playing with Gernard it's easier. So he's so calm, he's really strong in the duels and uh, we are not even speaking that much. Of course we are speaking quite a lot, but not that much. But yeah, I think the chemistry between us is, is, is really good and it's something special for me. And uh, yeah, like the coach said before the game, like uh, the, the better we, we less concede, then uh, we can make a great result. So that's that's for us was the or for me and I think also for Gernot was the uh, was that the task to to not concede chances, to, to not not get them come to our box and create something. So that was our main task. Yeah, and it's clear that the second half was a bizarre one. Uh, at one point, you played against nine players of Celtic. Did you shift more towards the offensive side of the game at that moment? Yeah, but that was the good that we scored the, the second goal that uh, then gave us a little bit of brief that uh, because, you know, even if they are in nine, you know, one little mistake or set piece, uh, of course, they can score something. So then we really were looking like, yeah, we need to catch their runs. And uh, and uh, like I said before, that they will be not able to create something. And uh, then I think what was good was the first 10, 15 minutes of the second half that we were completely in control of the ball and also we were creating chances. And then from that moment, the, the red card came, first red card, then also from the counter press, the, the second red card. So, uh, yeah, that was good. And uh, in the end, we maybe we could score more, but yeah, they were only shifting from side to side and in a low block. So then we were more, I think, controlling it. And, and uh, yeah, eventually we, we didn't score more. So, but yeah, we are happy with the clean sheet and three points. And for you personally, what can you take from the match against Celtic into the match against Ajax? Yeah, I think the, the, the thing I said that uh, we cannot concede against them because, uh, of course, uh, it's, a, it's a good opponent, a strange opponent with a really good attacking players. So the less we will concede chances against them and they will have less ball possession on, or control the game, they will have less set pieces. I think that's, uh, that's a thing that uh, can help us uh, in, uh, in Sunday. You played in the away game against Ajax uh, last season uh, as well. That was an amazing match. How did you experience it back then? I was, yeah, again, some, some things that I, I will never forget it. So, yeah, when I see now the, the street when we, when we came here after the game, that was something special, but also the game. And I think there after the dressing, uh, after the match in the dressing room, the first time felt like, yeah, we can do it like 
that was something special and, uh, and, and we can do it. And, and yeah, from that moment, I think we were winning and winning and winning. And, and uh, yeah, it, uh, it gave us something special. And uh, of course, it's, it's not, not guaranteed that it's going to be Sunday the same or something. But uh, yeah, now we, we felt last year we, we can win there. And I know it was after a long time, but uh, again, now it's everything is zero zero. It's a new season, new new players, and uh, and a new game and uh, and really hard game. But yeah, what we can do is to focus on ourselves and on our game and and yeah, defend with the passion and uh, then try to create as many chances and score goals and and win the match. So that's that's what we want. But yeah, we know that there will be a tough moments in that game and. And we need to survive and defend well, and uh, then uh, again we can we can make something special. How is your level of confidence uh, right now? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's quite good. But you know, like in football, they always say like you are you are best like your last game. So then, uh, yeah, now we won uh, three times in the league by a huge goal difference. Then we now we won our first Champions League game. That for many many players in. Uh, in the squad, it was the first Champions League game, so yeah. Now everybody's looking. Yeah, Sunday you need to you need to win. Of course, we want to win. Everybody will do the maximum for the game to win it. But uh, first, we need to focus on ourselves. And again, it starts with zero zero. And yeah, we need to we need to really really play with the passion. And uh, when we have the ball and when when we are playing, we need to do what the coaches are uh, wants from us. And uh, and and then I, I I believe that uh, yeah for sure we can we can win there and uh, and and try to try to do it again. Good luck. Yeah, thank you very much.